What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.7, 13.6.1, 13.6 and 13.5.1 on pre-8.12 devices. So basically iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7, 7 Plus and lower. For this we're going to use CheckRain. This video is brought to you by AnyFix, a software which allows you to fix iOS system errors with iPad and iPhone errors and stuff like that. You can fix iTunes synchronization errors and enter and exit recovery mode. Definitely check it out in the link below. So as you probably know, Apple released back on September 1st the iOS 13.7 and although the CheckRain jailbreak wasn't updated for it officially, I have tested it and it works pretty fine. You can see that here on the CheckRain website, the latest supported iOS version that they mention in an update is iOS 13.5. However, I have tested CheckRain to work pretty fine on 13.5.1, 13.6, 13.6.1 and 13.7. Now for those of you who do not know what an A12 and A13 device is. It's basically the iPhone SE 2020, the iPhone 11 Pro, 11, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone XR, XS Max and of course XS. These devices are not supported by this guide. This guide only supports iPhone 10 and lower which is basically the iPhone 10, 8 Plus, 8, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, SE. So it's the same procedure as always if you have been using CheckRain in the past. If you're new to CheckRain I'm going to present it right now but do keep in mind that if you have a newer device like the iPhone XS and stuff like that, you're going to have to wait for the Uncover or for Odyssey to be updated. These require a kernel exploit to be released so definitely stay tuned on the channel. I'm going to make a guide when it's possible. If your device does support CheckRain then all you have to do is to basically download the CheckRain. It's available for Mac OS. However, tools like Rainstorm and other tools like this do support Linux if you want to use a Linux machine or if you want to create a bootable USB flash drive with CheckRain if you use Windows. So although CheckRain is not available for Windows, there are tools that make it available for Linux and there is also an official Linux version available here on the downloads. If you want to use the official stuff, you get the Linux one in here, available for multiple CPU architectures. I recommend Ubuntu if you're just getting started with Linux, but there are also other flavors available like Kali and of course others. So once you have the CheckRain jailbreak, it looks like this. For those of you who are not new to the CheckRain, you probably remember this interface is the same as always, but if you are new to the jailbreak community, this is the interface of the CheckRain jailbreak. So as you can see, once you plug in your device to your computer, it detects it, but in my case it says, sorry, iPad mini 4 Wi-Fi is supported, but iPad OS 13.7, which is basically the equivalent of iOS 13.7, is not. Supported versions are 12.3 all the way up to 13.5, and as you can see, the start button is not enabled in there, we cannot click it. However, there is an option here on options, allow untested iOS versions, and we're going to also enable verbal boot and we go back and now we can jailbreak 13.7 with no problem. We press start and of course it says in here warning the device is running an iOS version which was not confirmed to work with this build of check rain. The device may fail to boot or become unstable. Continue at your own risk. We press ok in here we press next and the device will now enter in recovery mode which of course is the mode that is now on your screen. Now once the device is in recovery mode we can press in here the start button and follow the instructions on the screen. For this particular device I have to press the top button and the home button so I press start and I press the top button and the home button. Depending on your device you may have to press the uh, volume down button and as you can see it says in here device entered the FU is now booting and that's basically it. You can see the Apple logo and then the check rain logo and of course a lot of text on your screen. That's normal, just be patient because your device is still booting. So right now your device is jailbreaking with the check rain. And as I said, this is on the latest version. All right, so as you can see, it says all done. So the jailbreak at this point is complete. We can press done in here. And of course, now I'm gonna go back to the device and show you that it's jailbroken and that you can install Cydia, no problem, on 13.7. All right, so my iPad has booted and as you can see, we have the check rain application. Now let me go here to settings and show you exactly what iOS version I'm running is 13.7 in there and then of course we can go here to the CheckRain application and install Cydia. So if it's the first time you jailbreak with the CheckRain you're going to have to open the loader, press Cydia and of course install Cydia for the first time. So we're waiting for it to download the base system and that should take only a couple of minutes. Now you're going to need a computer every time you reboot your device because this one is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So you're going to need the CheckRain application on your computer every time you want to re-jailbreak your device but the advantage 
is that this jailbreak uses a bootroom exploit, which means that it's not possible to be patched by Apple. So you will be able to jailbreak your device for the whole life of it. Now, as you can see, Cydia has been installed. We can open it. So we're waiting for it to start. And as you can see, that's everything we need. So if you open the sources in here, you can see that we do have the sources installed and we might also have some upgrades. Yes, we do upgrade essential in here and of course confirm. And at this point, the uh, packages will be updated, you know, the files that are required for your jailbreak. But as you can see, the jailbreak itself works fine. So that's how you jailbreak 13.7 and of course iPadOS 13.7 as well. And it's a pretty simple procedure. If you are a beginner, the check rein is actually pretty safe and it's pretty stable. And of course, I definitely recommend it. So yep, that's basically it. Definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.